Hey, Jamie, let's go ahead and take a look at your week one create assignments. Uh, first of all, one thing real quick, if you don't mind, instead of submitting everything as individual attachments, if you use the embed image button, uh, which uh, we went over in uh, week one in the video, and it's when you go to the text editor, it's the little button in the left-hand corner that ha looks like a little picture. And you can embed your images that way. They'll all just show up here in the assignment instead of having them be all um, on the side where they look like this, right, uh, as little individual attachments. That helps me out because then I don't have to download every single image onto my computer. I can just see them right here in in Blackboard. So thanks for uh, for just taking note of that. But let's take a look at everything. So uh, thanks for doing the viewfinders there. I'm just going to close those out. And then let's go ahead and take a look at your self-portrait. So nice job here. Uh, a lot of times students, you know, this is a scary one doing self-portraits week one. But I think you're going to be really excited to see how this changes from now into week six because we're going to give you a lot of tools to start thinking of how shapes relate to each other, uh, the sense of scale of the human face and proportion. And we're going to definitely talk about how a light and shadow sometimes is really helpful in delineating shapes opposed to lines. So for example, on here on the nose, uh, you know, it's when we don't have the tools to understand how to just lightly shade that, we draw lines, but that's not really how our nose looks, is it? It's kind of this soft contour. So we're going to work on all those kinds of things. So I definitely want you to be working on executing with detail and uh, trying to think about you know how shapes relate and how they look in comparison to each other, and you know looking just at the shapes individually. We tend to draw uh, kind of caricatures at first, almost cartoons. We we learn at a young age how to draw almost like a symbol for eyes, a symbol for a nose, a symbol for a mouth. But we want to look at individual people and how these shapes are slightly different and they're very organic. So we're going to work on all of those things uh, throughout the next seven weeks of class. Uh, so thank you for including uh, this assignment as well. This one is really good for helping us find our own kind of line style. And then let's pull up your hand. So same thing, hands are really hard and we tend to kind of just do more of like a symbol for a hand than actually looking at, you know, the negative space between fingers, how knuckles are divided into all these individual shapes, how they're shaded. So this is where I want you to start working. I want you to really start pushing yourself and looking at these individual objects and taking your time and uh, really make sure you're doing that reading and implying some of those, uh, applying some of those techniques there. And last but not least, I think we've got your room corner. And nice job here. We've got a little goofy on the perspective here. So if this was straight, then these lines would be straight as well. I love to have seen this as an actual corner of a room instead of just one flat wall. Uh, but I can tell you've gotten out you know, your ruler and gotten some nice straight lines here, and that's a really good trick to do. And we're going to do some really cool linear perspective drawings, I believe, week five. So a lot to look forward to. Uh, thanks for getting all that work in, and I'm excited to see where we go over the next seven weeks.